Alright guys, this is where I'm at right now. Wish I was further along than my last video, but I'm really not because I just got back from a really awesome vacation for about a week. Um, I've got about 50 uh, battery cells ready to go. Um, unfortunately, these aren't going to be really good enough, but I've got a majority of these and these that are going to be part of the battery pack. And I've still got, obviously, quite a bit more to go, plus another box under the, underneath, underneath my little workbench here. Um, I've got some on the charger, uh, ready for testing tomorrow. And this video is mainly about some of the stuff I've been receiving uh, in the mail, uh, which is um, one of the items here. And this is a 48-volt BMS board. It charges up to 54.6 um, volts at 45 amps. Um, see, this is the connector that goes in here. I'm really not fond of the of the pink wire, but it is what it is. <laughs> and this is the back here. But um, I've also got a 48, or I'm sorry, a 54.6 volt battery charger coming in the mail, and it actually comes with um, the power outlet and the plug. So basically, um, I'm gonna hook up the leads here to the power outlet, which is gonna be on my battery um, pack on my bike. And all I gotta do is just plug in the uh, the charger to it, and it's done. And internally, it's gonna have I'm gonna have a switch internally where it's still gonna be hooked up to my controller, but I can turn it off to charge it, and then turn it back on uh, to use the bike after I did obviously disconnect it. But basically, all I gotta do is just plug it in and flip a switch, done. So, and I'll have some LED lights on there to. Uh, make sure that I'm you know, hooking it up the correct way and I'm not gonna blow anything or blow any fuses or anything like that. So um, so that's one item that I've been receiving. Oh, here is the uh, schematic. So here's what I was talking about. Um, everything is connected. You got your negative here, and your positive here, and it's charging and it also goes to the controller. So controller negative, motor negative, controller negative. So that means all just on two wires and it's done. So you can just type in 48 volt 13S lithium BMS board on eBay. This guy pops up about 50 bucks. So the next item is 35 feet of tabbing wire. Um, it is uh, tinned with solder already. So once I tin the negatives of each cell, I can just heat this up and it basically solders itself together fairly quick and easy. Um, that way I don't damage these and get them over overheated. Uh, so I just wanted to be safe with these. So I figured that'd be the best way to go. And for the positives, I've got a little surprise of what I'm gonna actually do. And it's gonna be these here, which are resettable fuses. So if this battery decides to try and put out too much current at one time over four amps, it actually shuts off this particular cell because uh, this fuse will get overheated and will actually open. Uh, it will shut only when it cools down. And so that, I think that's actually a pretty good idea for uh, protection uh, from fires and short circuits and things like that. So um, I've got a whole bag of about 300 of these guys. So that should be plenty. Build two batteries. And I got my solder. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I'm going to receive some more items this weekend or this Friday, the next few days. So I'm going to make another video about the items that I received in the mail, which is the hub, the controller, the display, the throttle controller, the pedal assist, and the charger that I'm going to hook up to all of this. Um, so look forward to that coming this weekend. All right, guys, thanks for watching.